All right, this is the last video of the actual dome construction. We may come back and do one for the for the slab floor and for uh, spackling and, and plastering the inside, but I didn't get to get as much video as I want. There's just some short videos. So here's uh, the the wire. We uh, we put a tarp down over the frame and then we put fencing wire on there. Okay, we we cut it 27 foot lengths because the perimeter of the dome is 54 foot. So half that 27, so we cut several 27 foot lengths of pipe and, and wrapped it over the, the top of the dome, kind of rolled it up and, and pushed it over, and we overlapped it kind of like a star. And then as you see here, we also cut some shorter pieces of, of wire and bolted it in or, or wire tied it in in between those longer sections to kind of make it, make it fit. Then once that was done, we cut a 54 foot length and wrapped it all the way around the center. Now, the problem with that is everything wants to be flat if the dome is round, okay? So it, it, it buckled up in places, it bent around in places. You know, we used about a thousand different wire ties. Well, actually, just a little under a thousand. We bought a pack of a thousand. But you see here there at the top, it's, it's uh, lumpy and bumpy and, and doesn't fit in very well. So, uh, um, as we did all that, my dad got up on top with a set of walk boards and a, a piece of two by uh, two foot uh, square piece of uh, plywood got up there to the top and he pushed the, the pipes down or he pushed the, the fencing down and then uh, wire tied it flat. Okay. Now, as you look at this, it's conduit pipe, tarp, fencing, and then we came back with the chicken wire. Now, um, originally, we wanted to go conduit pipe, wire fencing, tarp, and then chicken wire. But, uh, you know, we were worried about the cement blowing through because we were using a uh, uh, motor sprayer uh, from motorsprayer.com, you know, a gun that shoots the cement. Um, and, and you see that fencing is pretty, pretty thick. So we ended up changing it around at the last moment and putting the tarp and then the fencing wire and then the, uh, the chicken wire. But it uh, turned out that uh, we probably should have went the other way because it, it, we had the pressure up too much. It's supposed to be about um, 12 cubic feet a minute at about um, 90 uh, PSI. We were blowing it at 20 cubic feet a minute at 90 PSI and, and uh, kind of too far back. Didn't really know a lot what we were doing, and so it blew through. Uh, but before we did all that, you see I came in and I put the skylights in. And I put some conduit in there because later we're going to come back and um, we're going to uh, put some solar in there. So, you know, as you look at it, I'm not an electrician. We, we probably didn't put the conduit in, you know, perfectly, but we just we just pushed it through, you know, put it up against the, uh, the, 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 the wire there. And then when we come in and plaster, we'll plaster around it so we can put uh, 12 volt power in there a little later. And, and there's the skylight. And the skylights worked, you know, very well, um, even though we did have to, to cover them up with some plastic as we sprayed the, sprayed the cement. You can see there on the right the board that Dad used to, uh, to flatten everything down. But uh, I, I'll tell you, I didn't have a whole lot of experience with cement up to this point. The only thing I'd ever done with cement is put some fence posts in there. Dad had a lot of experience with... Uh, cement doing doing slabs and things but you know between the two of us neither one of us had ever really messed with ferro cement before um, and dad really was was unfamiliar with the process and the only thing i knew is is what i got from interviewing people and uh, you know reading books so it was it was a very interesting experience you know normal ferro cement's pretty high slump and and basically you've got one guy on the inside of the structure one guy on the outside of the structure and they and they plaster the cement against each other. They both press against each other and and build the cement uh, cement up. Well, we were using a stucco sprayer, right? And so we couldn't have it as high slump as as, as we wanted because it wasn't blowing through the hole. So that we had to make it a little looser, and and that caused it to blow right through the uh, the wire. So it took us a, a little minute to, to figure it out. And, you know, as we did it, it was making it pretty smooth. You can see there on the bottom to the left of the uh, tree there 
is very smooth and, and the uh, doomsday preppers guys kind of wanted it to look like a boulder and so we uh, ended up coming back with burlap and covering a lot of it up with burlap so we could get some ridges and, and, and uh, folds to make it look more like a like a rock and then they came in and painted it one other thing we did it's about halfway up you see that kind of ridge that's a bunch of drain pipe cut in half that we bolted to it because they wanted a, a, a rain catchment system. But really, um, and you see in the article, I've got a link to it. What I wanted was a planter. So our plan is to, to take that ridge. It's, it's all uneven. It, it really won't work as a rain gutter. But we're going to put a little dirt in it and put some, um, some blackberries, maybe some muscadines or, or some other grape on there and let it go up over the top of the uh, building so that uh, you know it any camouflaging will be done from the vegetation and not from the uh, 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 you know painting it gray you know big gray cement painted gray um, and and so basically because we screwed it up a little bit the outside is more um, you know for looks but the inside, what we're going to do is we're going to come back. We're going to tear the tarp out. Now, we've already started this process a little bit. Tear the tarp out and then stucco with the high slump ferro cement mixture and use that uh, cement uh, outside as, as something to push against so we can incorporate all that wire because we put a whole lot of wire in there, incorporate the wire into the cement mix. And so the inside will be smooth and the inside will be the actual dome. And there'll be a little bit, you know, a gap between the outside and the inside. You know, I don't think they're going to bond. But but that's okay because the inside's what's going to provide all the strength. That's going to give me all the benefit of, of the dome structure. And the outside's just, uh, you know, anise, you know, for, for, for aesthetics. Which, you know, is good because, you know, I... I totally expect the blackberries and the grapes to kind of root and sort of break that top part up a little bit and i don't want it to do that but i think it might happen and because of the way we're going to do the dome i don't think it, it's going to negatively affect anything but uh, anyway that's the uh, that's what the dome looks like as as we speak today and it was a lot stronger than i thought it would be but it's not near as strong as it's going to be so I appreciate you watching, and, and any comments are welcome. And, uh, you know, until next time, you can always get us online at www.beingdone.com.